Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm sorry if I sound just a little bit low today. There's currently someone sleeping in the living room, right next to where I record, and I don't want to wake him up, but we have to record a video today. So, <clears throat> I, hope, I hope you don't mind the extremely low voice. Um, today's video, we're going to be going over Dragalia Loss's new units, give my thoughts and opinions about him. And I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, you can comment, tell me how you feel about these units and if you're going to be summoning them. There are some fan favorites, so I'm sure there's many who will summon regardless if there's an anniversary coming in a month or so. Well, in the, a month and a couple weeks. So let's get into it. And you can subscribe to me if you want some more videos. So, the two units coming are Yukata Lafna, who's Wind, and Yukata Cleo, who's Flame. Alright. So here we have an extremely adorable Pia eating some watermelon right next to Yukata Lafna. I actually, forgive me if I'm saying her name wrong, I think it's a Lafna or something like that. Now I actually asked a friend this recently, because uh, when I saw this picture I was like, do people eat watermelon like that? Because I usually eat watermelon in uh, cut diced slices that uh, usually my mom ends up cutting them up and we put them in the fridge and the family eats it over time and that's how I usually eat watermelon. I've never eaten watermelon directly while still holding a part of the melon. So let me know because I'm actually kind of interested in that. So Lafna clad in adorable yukata and ready to hit a festival with a special new friend. The thing that sleeps within her has other plans however. Growing stronger each day, its shackles loosen, lending the sweet girl a most indescribable air. Okay, Summer Moon Howl deals damage to enemies in a line, dispels one buff from each target, and activates skill shift. If the attack connects, Phase 1 grants the user a defense amp, Phase 2 reduces the target's strength and grants the user a defense amp. Phase 3 reduces the target's strength and defense and grants the user a strength amp and a defense amp. And skill energy required is 2,640. Wow! You're gonna get the defense amp a whole bunch, huh? Well, it's max is level 2. It's way easier to get defense amp compared to strength amp. I feel like whenever they do strength amp, the skill energy required is always insanely high. But anyway, damage is 550 over 3 hits. And at level phase 2, it's 575 damage over 3 hits. And at level 3, it is 600 over 3 hits of damage. Same skill energy required throughout. And the debuffs, yeah. Next, we have the shareable. Haunter. Haunter! While well, the festival deals damage to the target and nearby enemies, lowers their wind resistance, and deals bonus damage based on the total combined level of the user's current team amps. Damage is 1,753 over 1 hit. Bonus damage, team amp, level 1, 316 over 3 hits. Bonus damage, team amp, level 2, plus 2, 316 over 6 hits. Skill energy required is 6,000. And when it's a, skill, when it's a shared skill, it's 15,180. Special effects is wind resistance minus 3%. And it lasts for 20 seconds, does not stack. Hmm, I kind of like the using of the team amp. I think some other units may do this as well, but it kind of helps. It kind of helps because it feels like the team amps alone are not a, enough to justify themselves. So it looks like a little bit more of a team amp buffing of the sorts. Co-op ability, strength 10%. Chain co-op ability, wind, dragon, haste, 20%. Abilities, reduce strength, punisher, 20%. Uh, freeze resistance, 100%. And skill damage, 30% up. Um, I kind of like what she's doing here. Uh, it's very hard to compete and win, but what she does here is that she does something that not many other wind units do which is always helpful when you're looking for a specific adventure who's like, okay, who's the best at giving me a defensive amp? She may not be able to help damage them, but if you need that specifically for something, then she, there she is right there. So I kind of like the design behind it. If she's going to be able to stand up to other blade units or other wind units, that remains to be seen. But I like what they did here, and I love 
this adorable art that they had for. Also, it's nice for them to reference Pia in the year 2021. She has not been shown since her event release, as far as I know. Alright, let's move on to Yukata Cleo. Cleo downed something breezier to run a candied apple stand at the Summer Festival. Her sweet, refreshing treats have debuted to rave reviews. But some customers find the quaint proprietress herself to be the real main attraction. But you can see that here as she suggestively eats a candy apple. Though I don't really think you can do candy apple eating suggestively because it requires you to bite into the apple and that's really not what you want. I guess, you know, to be fair, hot dogs are the same way. So you really shouldn't see a woman eating a hot dog as something suggestive because she bites it off. What was I talking about? Cleo, she's a support unit for fire, and she's a one. Festival Mirage. Shareable 5. Deals damage to enemies directly ahead and creates a debuff zone that adoptively suppresses damage dealt by enemies inside it. Adoptive suppression reduces damage with no elemental attunement as well as elemental attuned damage that the target has an elemental advantage to. Damage and it's shareable, that's nice. Damage is 1,600 over one hit. Skill energy required is 2,648, which is not too bad. And for skill energy required when it's shared, it's 7,414, which is also not that bad. Adoptive suppression modifiers minus 5% at last 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. 10 seconds, huh? It's not that bad when it's uh, uh, not a shared skill, because you get it fairly often. Carnival of Confusion. This is the lane of Deals damage to the target and nearby enemies, creates a debuff zone that reduces the strength and defense of enemies inside of it, and grants the user a defense amp. Skill energy required is 4,400. Special effects. Captive catch lasts 10 seconds. Strength minus 10% and defense minus 10%. And gives that defensive, defensive amp. Hmm. Interesting. A very interesting support which she's doing right here, which is probably what they should have looked for for Galaxio if they wanted to make her a more interesting support unit, to be honest. This kind of actually feels like what they want Galaxio to kind of be like a very interesting support unit instead of the beat stick that she ends up being, but I digress. Co-op ability, skill damage 15%. Chain co-op ability, flame HP 80% equals wind resistance 6%. Abilities. Festival Fever 2 increases the damage dealt by the user's attacks based on the number of active debuff zones. Hmm. The maximum bonus gives when there are two or more debuff zones increased damage by 15%. Sleep resistance 100%. Dynamic Defense 2 fills 10% of the skill gauge when the user is granted a defensive amp. Alright. So, hmm. Similar to Win, Fire is very hard to kind of get into if you're a new unit, but just like Lafna, they decided to give Cleo something that is extremely unique, something that no other Fire unit does, and it's especially important because when you look at attack based, um, when you look at like attack based support units, you have units that give the over, what is that thing he called, the over punish damage? It's the thing that Yukata Cassandra gives, I can't remember, it's the little goldfishes. But you have that for attack based support. For defensive support, you have Loen giving his defense on his healing. And in general, Loen is an extremely good unit. So it can make being a support a little bit tough, but she's able to kind of do that by having a very different kind of gimmick. And she has a gimmick that also might be better once they start releasing more debuff zones. I'll be interested to see how this rolls out when more units have adoptive suppression to see how crazy this kind of gets. Because I can't imagine. I think it says here that it does not stack. No, it doesn't say it doesn't stack. So... Yeah, it deals damage to enemies directly ahead and creates a debuff zone that adaptively suppresses damage dealt by enemies. Does adaptively mean that when they lose 5% that they're now at their 100% their 95% becomes their 100% so then they lose 5% of that whenever a second one of these is used? I don't know. This is a very brand new skill so I kind of, I'm kind of interested to see how it goes. 
but I'm looking forward to see how good this is or not. But it sounds interesting to me, and I'm always down for new mechanics to try and play around with. And yeah, and may as well make a note regarding Yukata Cleo's skill Festival Mirage. The skill creates a debuff zone that applies adaptive suppression debuff to enemies inside it. When an enemy with this debuff attacks, they will deal reduced damage as long as the attack is all. Mm hmm. Okay, so they deal with so she's way more defensive base then, but a very different kind of defensive base. That's interesting. Huh, because I was about to say, mm, it's a good thing I read this, otherwise I would look foolish. And hopefully you waited to make your comment before <laughs> correcting me of what I was saying. But anyway, let's move on. Uh, the other two Gala units that are on this are Gala Knot and Gala Reborn Agni, who I think both of them are extremely good. He's good even though Mars is extremely busted. He's good for a very different reason and some units would gladly use him. And Gala Knot is Gala Knot. I really like Big Knot and she's a lot of fun to play with. So not a bad Gala unit to be honest if you're missing both of those. Uh, I'm probably not going to end up summoning because both of these units are not limited and I'm recovering from the horrible, horrible treatment of the previous actual Galavanna unit, so I wish you the best of luck if you're summoning. You can leave your thoughts down below if you so care. Forgive me if you aren't down with the low sounding voice, but I really don't want to wake them up. So you guys have a good night, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Where's the stop report? There it is. <laughs>